Hello everyone, Mice here. Welcome to this tutorial series in which we'll be learning how to create a human character but also taking into consideration the topology for the geometry as well as making sure you learn about modeling and the tools that you can use to make any character that you want in the future. In this overview video we'll be taking a look at what you're going to be creating, the parts that will make each video and also the tools or add-ons you need to have in order to partake in this series. First, let's start out with the most important thing that we'll be creating, the human character. For this series, we'll be modeling three different characters. The first one is a neutral character, which will be modeled from scratch and will have the core components that make a body, like the hands, feet, and the body itself. All model up in mid-poly. This can easily become a high poly character later if we wish to. The most important thing is that this neutral body will be created in such a way that will allow us to modify it. And the reason as to why we're doing that is because of the other bodies that we'll be making. The second character we'll be making is a male body. This one won't be modeled from the ground up. Instead, we'll take the neutral body and modify it to fit a more male physique with details such as abs, legs, and most importantly, the face. Finally, for the third character, we'll be making a female body. Once again, we'll be going back to the neutral body and using it as a base for this one. We'll modify it enough so that it has a more female physique with details like the butt, thighs, and breast, as well as the face. These three characters that you're seeing right now are how the bodies will look like. You will notice that the characters are somewhat stylized, which leads me to mention the next point. This somewhat applies to any character modeling tutorial, but the bodies we'll be making are gonna be stylized. And this doesn't mean that they aren't gonna be realistic in the proportion, but it does mean that my own style is gonna stick out because of how I model human bodies to exaggerate some proportions. Next thing is the amount of videos we'll have. There's a total of 8 videos not including this overview. The first 4 videos are going to be about modeling the neutral character. This includes the body, the hands, the feet, and finally joining all the parts together and smoothing out things so it resembles a neutral body. The 5th and 6th video are going to be about modifying the neutral character into a male character. We'll detail things like how to make a face, modifying the neutral body, and making sure it looks like a male body. The 7th and 8th video will be about modifying the neutral character into a female character. Again, detailing things like the face, the female physique and all that. That's about it for the content of the series. Now there are some other important things I gotta mention before you start the tutorial. One important point is that this is not a beginner series per se. I'm not going to be teaching you how to use Blender or the specific hotkeys it has. You need at the very least a basic understanding of the program to partake in this series. Lastly, the add-ons I'll be using will mainly be loop tools to create bridges, make circles, that sort of thing. As well as tools like the proportional editing, smooth vertices, and a few others. I am going to be commenting on some tricks I use when modeling, just to get you up to par if you don't know them. And finally, I'll be showing the keys that I'm going to be using just so that you know what I'm doing. With all that out of the way, I hope you understand the scope of the series and you'll be interested enough to see all the videos I have prepared. I'll see you in the first part of the tutorial series. Bye bye.